Get ready for an inside look at the rover's groundbreaking moon's lunar mission. This video breaks down the step-by-step -step process, showcasing the rover's digging and laser techniques for material analysis. Stay tuned as we unveil how the rover identifies hidden materials and seamlessly transmits data back to Earth. Don't miss a moment, the exciting revelations are just ahead. Let's talk about this little explorer size and weight. With dimensions of 0.9 meters in length that makes it less than 3 feet and measures around 0.75 meters in width and 0.85 meters in height. The Pragian rover may be compact, but it's a true powerhouse. Weighing in approximately 27 kilograms, this rover is a testament to cutting-edge engineering and innovative design. Let's compare this to a human to help us understand its size. Even better, let's compare this to other rovers. First up is the Chinese Yuta rover around 1.5 meters and weighs around 140 kilograms. It's slightly larger than the Pragian rover. Now NASA's Curiosity rover enters the scene with a substantial 2.9 meters. And don't forget the impressive Perseverance rover from NASA itself. Last but not least, let's talk about the monumental Apollo lunar vehicle. While not exactly a rover, it was a colossal lunar vehicle designed for astronauts and a plethora of scientific gears. Let's take a look and dive into its parts and features. The hinge opens up the solar panel, just like this animation shown here. These are the RX or TX antenna. The TX pin sends out or transmits the digital signal, and the RX pin listens or receives for a digital signal. At the front are these navigation cameras. Now cams typically take wide-angle photographs like this that are used to plan the next moves of the vehicle or object tracking. These are the Alpha Particle X-ray spectrometer. When instructed by mission controls, it stops and flips the APX instruments and determines the elemental composition of lunar rocks. Inside it is the warm electronic box that carries the batteries and scientific equipment. These are the rocker bogey and are attached to this differential turning the wheel drive assembly. Also remember this is a six-wheel rover that helps traverse small boulders and uneven surfaces and moves just as shown in this animations. Let's take a look at how this works. Step number one. When the VCRAM lander lands, it opens two folding doors that acts as a landing pad. Step number two. Pragian battery is activated and at the same time, the solar panels opens up. Step number three. Pragian descends and scans with its camera in the surroundings to execute the scientific experiments. Step number four. Interestingly, the rover and this high-tech marvel packs a punch with a 50-watt power output all thanks to its state-of-the-art solar panels that soak up the sun's rays. The rover moves on six wheels, each one carefully engineered for stability and control. It's on a mission to conquer 500 meters that's 1,600 feet off lunar terrain, all while cruising at a steady pace of 1 centimeters per second. Step number five. It uses the laser-induced breakdown spectroscope to determine the elemental composition of magnesium, silica, titanium, or even water, and many possible compositions of the lunar soil and rocks around the lunar landing site. Step number six. At the same time, the Alpha Particle X-ray Spectrometer APXS flips the instruments to scan the chemical composition and infer the mineralogical composition. Interestingly, it is the same instrument also found on NASA's Curiosity rover. Step number seven. After analyzing all the experiments, it transfers the data back to the Chandrayaan lander, which will be relayed back to ISO headquarters for further evaluations. While this is a short video, we do have a longer version coming out next week. Till then, please stay tuned as this was all created for the love of engineering and science. So subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos.